In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an alternative to Google Images. And this alternative allows you to download high quality version of images that are online. So for years, many of us have used Google Images to download images from the internet that we can use in our school projects or to create slideshows with and many other things. And of course, we could just go to images.google.com, do a search, let's say for trees. I need some images of trees and it brings up all of these wonderful images. You can even choose tools and limit the results to just images that are labeled for reuse. Okay, so these are basically Creative Commons images. They're meant to be freely used. And notice how big these images are. It tells you in the corner, 4,000 by 3,000. That's a high quality image, 4,000 by 2,200. And some of these others aren't quite as big but they still are pretty good quality images. And it used to be that you could click on one of these images and then click a button to view the full size version of the image. You could then right click on it and save it to your computer. But that option has disappeared out of Google. Google Images is not making it easy to do that anymore. So if I right click on this smaller image and choose save image as or save picture as, I can still download it and save it to my computer. Once that downloads, it should show up on my desktop, and there it is. But if I double click on it, notice that this is the small, low quality version of the picture. So let's look at an alternative to Google Images, and that is Bing. Bing is made by Microsoft. It's quite similar to Google in a lot of ways. But here in Bing, if I click on Images, it lets me do that same search for trees. I can even go here to the right and click Filter, and I can filter by license, free to share and use, even free to share and use commercially. I'm gonna choose that option. And let's say I wanna use this particular picture. Notice the dimensions, that's a pretty big photo. If I click on it, Microsoft gives me a bigger version than what Google gives me. And if I click on it, it takes me to the full size version of the image. And actually, sometimes you can see on your mouse cursor, a magnifying glass with a plus sign, that means that you can click to make it even bigger in some cases. So this is a very high quality version of this photo. I'm now gonna right click on it, choose save image as, I'll save it to my desktop, and let's compare the two images. I'll just go to my desktop now, and here they are side by side. This one from Google Images at the left, this one on the right from Bing Images. So you can see the difference in the quality, the difference in the size of these images. So now I can use this really good image in my school projects or in reports or things like that. Of course, I should cite my source for this photo and include that in the documentation. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please consider becoming a patron of mine through my Patreon account. And you'll find links to that in the description below.